people, you kind of blame you. Oh, yeah. I hate it. It makes me angry. It's insulting. And um, uh, because what I consider what they're saying I'm doing, I think it's, I think anytime a wife is in a plural family, is controlling a husband enough to affect other relationships, I think she's a bad person. It's just, I'm tired of it because it's been happening for years. Mm. I would help any one of those kids have a conversation with their dad, try to make it safe for them. But how about- um, I've had this theory for a while that your dad was moving toward evangelical Christianity. The Mormonism has a lot of naughty stuff about it and I don't know that Christianity has many naughty stuff. That's what I'm saying. Christianity this- has tons of naughty Go stuff. Go for it. She was upset at a future scene, probably next season they filmed with her, and it was just disruptive by the cameraman changing focus on Cody, meeting David rather than her. Interesting. Um, I think that the only reason why they wanted to film Gwendolyn's engagement party was because David and my dad would meet. So I think that was rude of... In the realm of reality television drama, Cody Brown, the patriarch of Sister Wives, candidly acknowledges his own shameful behavior, recognizing the pressures and challenges of living life under the lens of public scrutiny. Despite striving to portray the benefits of their polygamous lifestyle, the Browns' reality show often reveals internal strife, prompting Cody's sincere reflections on his actions and efforts to address them. However, the toll of continuous public exposure weighs heavily on him, particularly as recent episodes of Sister Wives evoke feelings of discomfort and even physical sickness. The tragic loss of Garrison Brown intensifies these emotions, prompting viewers to ponder Cody's sincerity and the impact of fame on personal well-being. In contrast, Christine Brown, another member of the Sister Wives cast, finds solace and joy in her role as a grandmother cherishing moments of teachable joy with her grandchildren. Through her Instagram posts and interactions, Christine shares her dedication to imparting important lessons on safety and family bonds, particularly poignant in the wake of Garrison's passing. Fans eagerly anticipate more glimpses into Christine's family life and the ways in which they honor their beloved Garrison's memory. Exploring the complex family dynamics of the Sister Wives cast, viewers delve into the intriguing history of Janelle Brown's mother's marriage to Cody's father, adding layers to the already intricate family tree. Reflecting on past relationships and the evolution of familial ties, fans speculate on the motivations behind these unions and the impact on individual members' lives. Amidst grief and controversy, the Brown family navigates the challenges of public scrutiny and personal loss, prompting viewers to empathize with their struggles and celebrate their resilience. Finally, amidst the turmoil and grief surrounding Garrison Brown's memorial service, Michael T. Brown Padrone, a prominent figure on Sister Wives, expresses frustration and offense at the National Guard's handling of the event. Despite conflicting perspectives on privacy and public mourning, fans rally around the Brown family in support, recognizing the complexities of grief and the toll of constant public scrutiny. As the family navigates this difficult time, viewers remain engaged, eager for updates and hopeful for healing amidst the challenges of reality TV fame. Welcome to a creative night shows, where the drama unfolds and the stories captivate. Join us as we delve into the intriguing world of A Sister Wives, revealing the untold tales and hidden truths behind the headlines. For show drama, Cody Brown acknowledges shameful behavior. Regretfully, Cody Brown, the patriarch of Sister Wives, acknowledges his embarrassment about certain of his actions on the program. He also talks about how drama is necessary to keep the show engaging. Undoubtedly, there is pressure to live your life on television. Although the Browns wanted to showcase the advantages of many marriages to the world, their reality TV show revealed a lot of internal strife. Cody Brown talks about feeling shame for his actions. Cody Brown admits in an interview with Mormonism Live that he is embarrassed by certain of his on-screen actions. Cody reveals his embarrassment after talking about what it's like to have their family fight on display. Radio Free Mormon, or RFM, 
continued the topic after DJ Bill Real had dragged Cody into it. In a similar vein, RFM brings up a remark Cody made about an embarrassing recollection that he interrupted to address Bill's earlier query. Then Cody continues, I'm in front of the camera every time I work. I used to feel embarrassed about something I did once or twice per episode. At moments, it was charming and adorable, or anything else. However, it eventually reached a point where I was acting in a way that embarrassed me beyond belief. Cody Brown discusses his approach to handling the shame. Despite his mistakes, Cody Brown appears to be making an effort to improve. He discusses how he handles the embarrassing acts in response to them. I'm still a man of faith, he declares. Therefore, I have been asking Heavenly Father to assist me in stopping the things that I feel guilty about in my prayers lately. Although he acknowledges that the show is unscripted, he also admits that the producers occasionally manage to elicit a rise out of him. Moreover, he continues, My habit is to be honest and forthright, and that is why I believe I have had success with my TV show. We also cross boundaries. I so have a propensity to feel almost as though I had Tourette's when I don't like anything. When I might say something because it upsets me that is simply inappropriate. Being on camera has its drawbacks. Even though Cody Brown understands that drama is necessary to maintain audience interest, it still bothers him. To be honest, I'm pretty sure, this is my justification, that it makes good television, but it's actually heartbreaking, he says. Furthermore, he admits that it affects him whether I'm lashing out at the question of a fan or I'm lashing out at the interpreted behavior of a family member. To be honest, he could watch an episode of Sister Wives for the first five years and get through it with a smile on his face. Plus, he could handle the awkward moments with grace. But as time goes on, he claims that he almost can't bear to watch. He claims that watching the more recent episodes makes him physically sick. He also says that all in all, it's turned into a depressing experience for him. Clearly, the loss of Garrison Brown has intensified these emotions. Regarding Cody Brown's regret for his embarrassing actions at the Mormonism Live interview, what are your thoughts? Do you believe he is sincere? Would he ever take it all back now? given what happened to him with sister wives? Please leave a remark below. With her grandchildren, Christine Brown shares a teachable moment. Every grandchild in the Brown family, in the opinion of Christine Brown, is her own. She can also take pride in her several step-grandchildren, having married David Woolley. However, she is currently only a grandma to three biologically. Michael T. Brown Padrone, her daughter, is the mother of three-year-old Avalon and one-year-old twin boys, Ace and Archer. One of Christine Brown's greatest delights in life is becoming a grandma. She recently experienced a lovely and highly teachable occasion with Michael T.'s children. See what transpires and discover more about Christine's Instagram post by continuing to watch. Christine Brown educates her grandchildren about safety. Christine Brown is a devoted grandma who is constantly concerned about teaching her children and grandchildren how to be safe. While it's crucial to play and have fun, safety is just as critical. She believed it was time to teach Michael T's children about sharks for that same reason. These images and videos were captured by Avalon. I was explaining to Michael T's children what a shark sounds like. However, it seems that toasters terrify them more, the Sister Wives actress wrote in the Instagram pictures description. She included multiple pictures of herself holding a big plush shark. A seasoned viewer of Sister Wives may recall Christine's comment from the first season about toast, that is, why it was safer to prepare toast in the oven. Christine didn't get many comments on the post, but it's safe to say that a lot of Sister Wives fans laughed and enjoyed it. The Sister Wives actress values spending time with her loved ones. Christine Brown recently revealed that she was learning how to get back into the swing of things after the untimely death of Garrison Brown. 
that most certainly translates to more time spent with her children and grandchildren. The Sister Wives cast is more aware than ever of the need of keeping their loved ones close. Despite the fact that Garrison wasn't her biological son, Christine loved him as her own. She prepared his favorite meal on St. Patrick's Day in remembrance of him after his passing. Fans adore how the Brown family honors his memory in such beautiful ways, even if their tragedy has permanently altered the family. Many Sister Wives fans fully anticipate seeing more posts from Christine about her cherished family members in the days to come. April 5th is Avalon's third birthday, so there will probably be more sweet pictures from her birthday celebration. What Christine will educate her grandchildren next is anybody's guess. Regarding Christine Brown's most recent post concerning her grandchildren, what are your thoughts? The joke about the toasters, did you get it? Post your ideas and opinions in the comments section. Check out what happens next for additional stories about the Sister Wives cast. How did Janelle Brown's mother choose to wed Cody's father? The Brown family tree of the Sister Wives is undoubtedly a little complicated. With Cody taking four wives, Mary, Christine, Robin, and Janelle Brown, the immediate Brown family grew to be rather vast. They each have children with Cody as well. In addition, Janelle's mother and Cody's father were married. The family line's history is unquestionably fascinating. Parents of Cody and Janelle Brown come together. A Reddit user discussing sister wives brings up the subject of Cody and Janelle Brown's parents getting married. Initially, introducing the thread with Janelle's mom. One user asks how Cody's dad and Janelle's mom decided to be together after seeing earlier seasons. Is it ever explained how Janelle's mom came to marry Cody's dad? The user then queries. They describe how she became interested in the church after Janelle showed interest, and how she eventually fell in love with his father. But how did she go from being a mainstream Mormon to this point? Where was the father of Janelle in this scenario? Cody's parents, Jeannie L. and Wynne Brown, get married in many marriages to Cheryl, Janelle Brown's mother. Sister Wives The Different Levels of Family Relationships the Brown family was close-knit, yet there were some intriguing relationships among the members. Cody and Janelle Brown have several marriages with three different ladies in addition to having deeper ties. Although the immediate Cody Brown family is the main subject of sister wives, they also touch on the parents. However, there is even more family history to this story. Janelle was first married to Adam Barber, the brother of Mary Brown before she entered the multiple marriage. Interestingly, Janelle and Adam got married in 1988 and divorced a year later in 1990. Janelle Brown and Adam Barber Some users on Reddit recollect Janelle Brown's relationship with Adam Barber, Mary's brother. I believe the same thing was mentioned in Season 2 when they visited Wyoming. Janelle claimed her mother had visited the ranch to learn more after her true father passed away when she was just two years old, but I don't believe her account because she was already married into a polygamist household. Despite her attempts to portray Mary and Cody as her friends from a polygamous home, she was aware of what polygamy was because she had been married to Mary's brother and they had separated. I recall being shocked to learn that Janelle had previously been married to Mary's brother, that's really strange. It got me thinking if Janelle attended Cody and Mary's wedding in that capacity as his wife. I also wonder whether that brother is still bitter because his wife probably divorced him so that he could marry his brother-in-law. How did Cheryl, the mother of Janelle Brown, choose to wed Wynne, the father of Cody? Cheryl, Janelle Brown's mother, expressed some worries about her daughter getting married to other people while Cody was pursuing her. Similarly, as a mother, she had to learn more before she could be happy about Janelle's second marriage. But as soon as she arrived to the Brown family property, sparks ignited. Cheryl adopted William Wynne Brown's lifestyle prior to Cody and Janelle exchanging nuptials. 
In a 2013 episode of Sister Wives, Janelle discusses the union. Janelle remembers, I was actually friends with Cody's family before we were really courting. My mother was concerned that I might join a polygamous cult. However, before Cody and I began dating, she met Cody's father, and the two of them fell in love and were married. Furthermore, in Season 9, Sister Wives returns to the subject. Fans recall Cheryl Brown's infatuation. Fans of Sister Wives on Reddit unmistakably recall Janelle Brown's mother, Cheryl, being swept off her feet by Cody's father. Only a few weeks separated Janelle and Cody from their parents' marriage. At one time, Janelle gave an explanation. To meet Cody's family and find out what Janelle was up to, Janelle brought her mother along. Typical mother crap. I suppose it was love at first sight or something when she met Cody's father, because they were married before Cody and Janelle. Janelle's mother became uncomfortable with her spending so much time at a polygamist compound when she started going to see Cody and Mary frequently. She desired to go see the parents of Cody. She went, got to know Wynn, fell head over heels, and moved up there. This was prior to Janelle and Cody beginning their formal courtship. I find it fascinating that although though Janelle is divorced, in fact, her mother is divorced, she was reluctant to leave Cody because she believed that our faith doesn't do that. What are your thoughts on the union of Janelle Brown's mother and Cody's father? Do you find it strange that Janelle, who previously divorced Adam Barber, makes such a huge deal out of splitting with Cody? Are you eager to watch more Sister Wives episodes? Please leave a remark below. Michael T. takes offended by Garrison's service in Sister Wives. Michael T. Brown Padron, star of Sister Wives, accuses Garrison Brown of being at fault after his service while her well-known TLC family works through their grief. The young mother of three was clearly grieving deeply after losing her brother, as the viewers could tell. Even though some others didn't agree with her, they approached her politely to express their opinions. Unsettled, Michael T. Brown Padron The images from Garrison Brown's service that have been posted on social media have angered Michael T. Brown Padron. After the Nevada National Guard published the images on their website, she expanded her scope to include the National Guard. Michael T. was not happy that the memorial ceremony images taken of Garrison were not kept out of the public view by the National Guard. Since she had just lost her brother, many Sister Wives viewers were aware of how sensitive her position was. But as some fans kindly pointed out, the National Guard hosted a memorial service for the general public. If they had hosted a memorial, they would have uploaded pictures of it. However, Michael T. Brown Padron believed that her family was unique from the others because the sister wives are well-known celebrities. Michael T. emphasized that the family desired privacy. The sister wives' family members are frequently photographed by the media since they are well-known, and they are sometimes unaware of this. Thus, Michael T. was incensed when she stumbled upon the photos from Garrison Brown's memorial service on the internet. It would be totally cool if the National Guard did that to any other family, the author adds. However, she continued, my family is very private, and because of this, we are not like any other family. She said that no one in the sister wives' family had authorized them to carry out this action. She was horrified that they would act in this manner without the family's approval. Michael T. also mentioned that her siblings are attempting to calm down with her on this. Supporters asserted that since the National Guard organized this memorial service for Garrison, they didn't require authorization. Additionally, they held this as a public commemoration, as the post above suggests. Sister Wives, totally devastated. The National Guard came under fire from Michael T. Brown Padron for violating the family's right to privacy. However, over the weekend, Garrison's mother, Janelle Brown, shared a few of the identical pictures. She spoke about how lovely her son's memorial was. Even yet, some harsh remarks were made in response to the photos. 
and some of them were directed at Michael T's husband, Tony Padrone. Fans said in their comments that Michael T's dress gave the impression that she was pregnant. Tony was then criticized by other attendees for donning a hat during the service. It's just stuff they weren't supposed to have to cope with at their darkest hours. Online, Sister Wives fans sprang to several potential justifications for Michael T's ire. Since there are many various ways to experience grief, it's possible that Michael T was overcome by the anguish of losing her brother. They also reminded her that her brother's images demonstrated the wide range of people who loved him. Many people said that Garrison would have been overjoyed to witness how his fellow soldiers honored him. It appears that Michael T. Brown Padron became enraged at the National Guard carrying out their routine following a memorial. On their social media accounts, they post it. Fans, however, believe that Michael T. Brown Padron may have overreacted due to her grief at her brother's passing. The sister wives' family will be affected negatively by this tragedy for a very long time. Most of the fans sent their sympathies to the members of this well-known TLC family. Return here to get the most recent Sister Wives news. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Sister Wives, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.